Hey guys, I am back with another clothing haul. My cat Merlin has uh, decided to come say hello to start the, the film. This is Merlin, one of my two cats. I also have his brother, Ranger. Anyway, you can go. I hit the Salvation. Actually, first thing this morning, I hit a, it was some sort of vintage clothing swap meet. I didn't know what to expect. It said the Sixth Spaniel, and it was like a mile from my house. And I had a friend that is interested in a, a Outlander um, style. And that, that's something that um, I wanted to mention. If you've ever seen the show Outlander or read the audiobooks, super, super popular right now, um, that style of clothing, so like back in the uh, late 1700s uh, over in Scotland, England, um, that's the style of clothing people are looking for. So if you find something unique like that, Put that as a keyword, Outlander, because people are looking for it. So anyway, we hit that, and um, I didn't get a lot there, but I found one of my favorite brands, um, and I rarely find it, so I was pretty excited. It's called Wawmaker. Um, it's, let's see here, there we go. Um, they make a lot of um, Western, Frontier, um, type clothing that people use for their Civil War reenactments or, um, you know, different type reenactments. And so I find the shirts that are kind of that time period um, that the reenactors um, like to find, and they spend good money on them. I've sold these shirts for $30, $40, $50. I sold a Wawmaker vest, kind of a Western vest. I think that went for $75. So keep an eye out at that, WAH, W-A-H. So I never found pants though, and at this uh, swap meet, I found some pairs of pants. Um, so, you know, it's kind of got that, that style, that time period look to them. Um, I think it's just, I think it's just denim, but it's got that style. So I haven't ever sold pants before. We'll see how they do. I got everything I bought from her, um, I paid $20 for. She had these marked at 10 and then these aren't these lovely nice striped it's got the reinforced butt for the uh all the horse riding and the reinforcement goes all the way down the legs i think these are women's if i recall looking at the tag um no she's got them marked as men's so these must be men's uh, she had these marked at five, and I was very happy to see those kind of prices because I'll I'll pay ten dollars a buck, you know, ten bucks a piece for a lawmaker type um, stuff. And like I said, I haven't sold pants before. I haven't even looked up comps, but I know the lawmaker stuff does good, so I wasn't afraid to buy it. And then let's see, one shirt I did get. And this is a little different from the shirts I've already sold because this has embroidered. It's embellished with embroidery, um, which. I don't know if that's really good for the time period or for the reenactors, but my guess is it'll probably still sell. It is small, um, but uh, anyway, I went ahead and got it. She had that marked at three dollars, so I mean I'm not gonna say no to three bucks. And it ends up being a little bit cheaper because she put the price down for everything I got. And one more pair of the pants, um, similar to the to the other ones. That's kind of got a buckle in the back. And these ones are ladies. Look, she's got a marked at ladies. Yeah, and they're a size 12. So these are ladies. The other two pairs of pants are men's. The shirt, I'm not sure. It's a floral embroidery. Maybe one of them knows. But I paid $20 for all of that. I'll get that back in one of these pieces. And they're all in really good condition. So I was excited about that because I hadn't found any lawmaker in a while. It's that one of those brands that... I always walk in, oh, is today going to be a day I find another lawmaker piece? And I rarely do. I mean, I maybe find one piece every three, four, five, even six months. So I don't find it very often. So after I hit that, the garage sells bad weather this weekend. Garage sales were pretty non-existent. So I decided to just run up to my Salvation Army store um, up the street and ended up crushing it. I had to do two trips. I posted on Instagram a picture of my first cartload, and uh, you can find me on Instagram at uh, Windows Rocky Mountain Vines. Um, it was just the men's section. I went and checked out, took it out to the car, came back in, 
and hit the women's section. Didn't get as much in the women's section, but by that point I was cooking out and I was starving. It was after lunchtime, and uh, so I wasn't as patient going through the women's. So anyway, I've got a lot here, and I'm going to kind of try to fly through it pretty quickly. Um, I found a Tommy Bahama. Now, I don't buy a whole lot of Tommy Bahama. I know they can still sell, but the price has really dropped on them. But anytime I find a Tommy Bahama that's got the embroidery on the back, I'm going to snag it. Half off day at the Salvation Army. Pretty much everything I got here I got for between $1.50 and I think probably $4 is the most I paid. I might Maybe a couple items I paid $5 for were in Channel 10, you know, like a large jacket or something. But anytime I find Tommy Bahama that's got that sort of embroidery, those things can go for really good money. Um, this one says, uh, wine a little, you'll feel better. Selectively stomped. So I haven't looked up comps on it, but I have no doubt this will be, be pretty good. And, you know, on this I paid $2.50. How do you go wrong with that? So... Uh, next is uh, just a Panhandle Slim. Again, I don't buy a lot of Panhandle Slim, but this had the eagle flag design with um, metal buttons, so it was unique. And um, and you know, well, I paid three fifty or yeah, three fifty for it. Um, so should do okay with that. I'll put July Fourth as a keyword in there with the patriotic theme. Um, Salt Valley Western. Pearl snap shirt. I had to look this up. Comps looked okay. I decided to go ahead and get it to give it a try. I had never seen Salt Valley before. I think, I think I ended up getting there were two next to each other. But uh, it's just your Western pearl snap shirt, black, black uh, snaps. So, and I'm sitting on the floor today. Before I've been sitting in my chair, but so many bags here. I couldn't pull the chair over. I figured it would just be easier to sit on the floor. All right, this is a brand called Haupt, H-A-U-P-T. It's a German brand. Sold it once before. I had to look up comps again because I couldn't remember if I bought it before and I sold it or if I bought it before it never sold. I think it probably sold. Um, the comps looked good. This is kind of a, it's almost corduroy-like material. It's kind of got hidden button-down collar. Um, it's not corduroy, but it's kind of got that, that ribbed feel to it, like corduroy. Um, and I paid two fifty for it. And it's got that eggplant color. I don't know if that's coming through how my lighting does, but. Let's see. Patagonia. Pretty much buy anything Patagonia, especially for three fifty. Kind of a thicker, is it cotton? Size extra large, and I can't see the material because their tag is pulling the tags together. Okay, it's, it's part something. I actually think it's part uh, linen, part cotton, because it's kind of got a little bit of a linen feel to it. So that's Patagonia by Patagonia all day long. Next is Gitman Brothers. It's a brand I've done well with. Uh, Nordstrom sells it, and then and there's other stores, I think higher end stores. Gitman Brothers, the, the labels can vary depending on where it's being sold. Uh, it's also, um, you can find vintage pieces that do well. It's just a normal um, button front shirt, dress shirt, or whatever. Uh, but, you know, they typically go for 20 to 30 bucks plus shipping, so. Let's see. This is a brand new brand to me. I've never heard of it. I looked up the comps while I was there and they looked okay. Um, so I went ahead and bought them. Actually, I bought multiple pieces. So they must look pretty good because, um, and I'll give it a try and see how they do. It's called Baguda. Show that to you. I hope that's focusing. I'm not paying attention looking at my screen. Baguda, B A G U T T A. Um, made in Italy, um, you know, a lot of Italy stuff, not all of it, but a lot of it can do well. And it, this is a light corduroy button front shirt. And then I think this is another one. Yep, another Baguda. I think that's even how you pronounce it. Again, light corduroy. It's 
far as that bad sounds, I know that's mine, isn't it? I probably should have dumped them all out. English laundry. I stopped buying English laundry. I used to buy it a lot. It used to do better than it does now. But I did pick this one up because of the embroidering it had on the front. Um, they tend to do better than the, just the plain ones. So uh, it was only two fifty, so I went ahead and got it. Um, so, but like I said, the plain ones I don't typically pick up. But if it's fancy like that, I'll still give it a try if the price is cheap enough. Rock Mount Ranch Wear. I love buying Rock, rock Mount Ranch Wear. Um, it can be it can be uh, vintage, but I think they're still around. I, I'm not real sure, but the stuff can go for a lot of money. This isn't one of the ones that'll go for triple digits, um, but it's got the diamond shaped snaps, uh, herringbone pattern to the shirt. Um, it's got, uh, I'm just noticing now, it's got a little bit of issue, flaws, a little flaw in the back here, but honestly, that still wouldn't stop me from buying it. This brand, Rock Mount Ranchwear, is a really good brand to pick up. It's it's highly sought after. Some of the brands are real dressy in a Western rodeo type of way, and they can go for $100, $200. That's what the label looks like. Um, and I find it occasionally being in Denver. We get a lot of the, uh, the rodeo type stuff here. Um, so I was happy to see that. That was a score. <laughs> Dump the bag out. I'm not having to listen to that. Okay. Uh, this is a women's bag here. So, J. Jill denim shirt. Denim is hot. Um, and anytime you can get it in a decent brand, even better. This is a J. Jill. I uh, paid two dollars fifty cents for it. It's a size large. So I've got that. Um, Reba. Uh, I heard on somebody else's video the other day that Reba stuff does well, so I uh, I did a quick check, and it does seem to do okay, um, depending on the style. This is a snap shirt, pearl snap shirt, with a little embellishment on the front. Um, so I went ahead and got that for $2.50. So give that brand a try, see how it does. And I'm willing to take a chance on stuff. Um, once I sell a brand, I'll remember it better. I mean, I'm going to remember Reba anyway. But um, but certain brands I may not remember. But if I sell it, then I remember it. So I'll pick stuff up, take a chance. If it doesn't sell, you know, I spent, what, 2 $3 on it. No big deal. Age of Wisdom, another brand I hadn't heard of. Looked up comps, and it's, it was interesting enough to pick up a couple of the nicer-looking pieces. Um, here's the, uh, the tag. It's a nice uh, pattern, geometric pattern on the shirt. It's snap, black snaps. So, see how that does. And actually, I'm not even sure if that's women's or men's because I ended up finding a couple, of one or two pieces in the men's section. Then when I was over in the women's section, found some more. So I don't even. This, it says large, so I'll have to check the measurements. Figure out whether it's men or women's. Also, I can look at what side the things snap and looking at that. I think it looks like a men's. Even though this, I got that one in the uh, women's section. Eileen Fisher, I rarely find it, uh, but I found a piece today. Kind of a sheer, obviously you need to wear something underneath. Um, so very light. So I got that for $2, size uh, extra large extra large. So Eileen Fisher, I'm sure you know the label. Let's see. I think this is Athleta. Yeah. First Athleta pieces I found today. Um, and this is kind of a, I don't know if it's a yoga top or, or what, but I don't work out. I don't do yoga. So, uh, but nice purple, nice design on it. Um, real good condition. No wear on it whatsoever. So grab that for two bucks. 
another athletic piece. The, the, the tag on the neck is a little bit warm. Um, but the piece itself, it doesn't have any snags, real nice condition. Just one of those uh, stretchy kind of workout shirts. It's got the uh, kangaroo pockets. So. And I found a couple cashmere pieces today. Cashmere, doesn't matter the brand. It could be the Costco Kirkland brand. And it's as long as you don't overpay for it, you're going to make some money on it. Check it carefully for holes, for flaws. A little bit of peeling is okay, especially if you have your own, um, what do you call the thing, the shaver thing to get the peeling off. You can just do that real quick run over. Um, I don't typically pick up white or cream type items like this because invariably you're going to find a stain somewhere, but I can't say no to cashmere, especially for $2.50. Um, it is an extra small, so bad on, on sizing. It's just apartment nine, not a major brand or anything, but cashmere. So I get that. There's another cashmere piece, another apartment nine. This one's got that argyle pattern, solid back. Uh, it's an extra large. Uh, looked at both of those over real carefully, make sure I didn't see any, didn't see any flaws. So this actually I meant to look up. I had, and, um, I ended up, I didn't, I forgot to look it up. So I got the check stand. I just went ahead and bought it. I have no idea on the brand. Tyler Kim. Um, the labels where they're just kind of like stitched ones to protect the material can tend to be good brands. And that's what made me uh, pull it out. Um, also the leopard print or you know animal prints can do well. It's a sheer, is it silk? I think it may even be silk. Um, just kind of a sheer over blouse type thing. So I haven't looked at comps. I have no idea on this one. So like I said, I meant to look it up before I checked out and I forgot and then I just went ahead and bought it. Victoria's Secret, these um, next couple of pieces are somewhat vintage. They're, uh, they're not made in the USA, but it's got the older Victoria's Secret tag, that, that gold lettering. Um, and it's just kind of a, uh, it's silk, 100% silk, that floral pattern, kind of a night shirt. Um, so I like the, the Victoria's Secret, same, that same kind of gold print. Clearly came from the same person, same size, same style, just another night shirt. Uh, and here's the other Riva piece I picked up. This one's real nice. It's got the bling, the embellishment on it. Um, nice pattern, colors, that gold color. I think this will do pretty well. Paid two bucks on it. So I like that piece better than the other Riva piece I bought. Um, see here another cashmere this one's j crew color is kind of i don't really care for the color but who cares it's not what i like right cashmere i'm going to run it over with my uh, shaver it's got a little bit of pilling so i'll do that real quick on it but it's just it's so soft i love cashmere i can't wear it major menopause hot flashes but uh anyway i do like it super soft i do have one cashmere sweater that i actually do wear occasionally because it's short sleeves so it kind of offsets the hot flashes with the with the, uh, the short sleeve of it. Okay. Alright, I think we're back into men's. This I got because I know the Stala jacket can do okay. Um, it's Scandia Woods. I see the sweaters a lot. It's not any major sort of brand. It's a nice canvas uh, presentation type jacket. Um, it's got the suede elbow pads, all the pockets on the inside, and it was only uh, $4. So I'm going to hit and grab that. Pull little Ralph Lauren cargo shorts. I love my Ralph Lauren cargo shorts. They, I usually sell them within a week of listing. If it hasn't, then I check the price. I may just have it a little too high price. This has got the, the gold dot, which I think means it came from the outlet, but I don't think it'll matter. I only paid, um, let's see, it was $6.50 originally, so $3.25. Um, and the size is good. It's a size of 40, yeah, size 40. So, corridor shorts, Ralph Lauren, I love them. The ones that really do the best for me are the ones that have the, 
the RAV4 and 67. Um, those are the ones that do the best for me. These are another RAV4 denim and supply RAV4 um, that green khaki cargo. I've been doing well selling my um, cargo shorts. Uh, here is another brand I had. Oh, this was another one of these Age of Wisdom. These are the ones I found over in the men's section. This one, kind of a cool color design on it, pattern, kind of a tie-dye type um, pattern to it. Pearl snap. So, and again, I, I don't I forget what the comps were on it. I'll have to research it a bit. Here's a um, PD and C. I forget what that stands for. I had to look it up while I was in the store. I wasn't sure what it stood for. But it's kind of a denim-like look or a denim-type material. A little bit thinner than denim. Uh, pearl snap. Uh, here is the label. But I looked it up. Uh, I like what I saw. It's got the roll tab sleeves. My pile over here is getting pretty high. Orvis. I love finding Orvis. Um, this is just a, a sweater, a cool, nice colors, cool design. Orvis is one of my favorite brands. It's starting to not be as good as it used to be, but I still buy it. Let's see, we're down to three more bags. Patagonia, another Patagonia, just a, um, Henley style shirt, real soft. I like this. Patagonia. This I got, it's Disney Fashions, and it's got Mickey on the chest pocket. But what really sold it for me was it's made in the USA. So I'm thinking it's gotta be vintage. We don't make anything here in the States anymore, do we? Well, not in the clothing world anyway. So there's nothing on the back. I was kind of hoping I was going to turn it over and there'd be something on the back. There wasn't. But I went ahead and grabbed it for $2. Um, so I still have to research it and determine it, you know, just how vintage it is. But there's the label. Disney. Disney fashion. So we'll see. Disney stuff. Can kind of be hit or miss and there's a lot of it out there for people to choose from but for two bucks i'll take a chance peter miller millar not sure how it's pronounced i love that brand it's a high-end brand and this is pure cashmere now it does have a couple little issues no holes here's the brand keep an eye out for this brand it's a really good brand in shirts dress shirts sweaters um but it's got, I think what it is, it just needs to be um, dry cleaned or cleaned, however way it's supposed to be, I'm assuming dry cleaned. But it's got a little little issue right there. And I found a couple other little little things. But being 100% cashmere and this brand, no holes and only three bucks, I was still going to get it. Robert Graham. Woohoo! Yes, I love finding the Robert Graham. It's not one of their overly crazy, but it is pretty nice. It's got the fancy neck stitching. And nice blue color. Um, you know, this is one of their, their, their middle range. It's got the, you know, the nice trim. Um, 2XL, and I spent $2.50 on it. So that's like a home run. This I got just because of what was on it. Guinness beer. Um, you know, beer people, people like their, their beer and sometimes they like to wear the clothing. The, uh, the labels that they've stitched on it kind of have that distressed look. It's pearl snap. Um, it's got these patches stitched on and uh, I paid three fifty for it. So putting all that together, I thought, eh, I'm sure there's somebody out there that wants a Guinness beer lover that wants a shirt. Uh, here's the other English laundry I picked up. You know, again, I, I don't pick up a lot of the English laundry anymore, but it had this nice embroidery on the front. Uh, 
Let's see. This, I didn't look up. I was going to, and then I just decided it was only $2.50. The Jimi Hendrix Experience, a clothing collection by Rock and Roll Religion, the purple label. Um, I know Jimi Hendrix stuff can do okay. Oh, I didn't even notice this part. It's got some sort of embroidered autograph or something on it. Um, it's got embroidery on the collar, embroidery on the front, embroidery on the cuffs. It's got that contrast trim cuffs. So I didn't even bother to look it up. For $2.50, that's going in the basket, and I'll check it out when I get home and see how it does. I haven't done that yet, so... This jacket, I'll probably uh, hold on to until we get back into winter. It's a Wrangler Hero. Got it for $5. It's heavy canvas, corduroy collar, Sherpa lined. It's only a medium. Got these pockets on the inside. Um, I checked comps. The comps aren't great right now, but I think probably because we've come out of winter. So I'll hold on to it till the next autumn. Then I'll list it then, and for $5, I've got to believe I can make 25 costs on it. Okay. Next step, second to last step, looks like. Right. All right, this, again, I didn't look it up. I got it because it was interesting. Um, it's... I believe it's Nike. It's got the Nike on. Yeah, it is Nike. I didn't know it was Nike because of the neck label. Um, so that's the first good strike for it. But then down on the bottom, it has this label. And UB, United Ballers All World League. Um, let's see here. What was the other? Oh, it's got 47 on the chest. And United Ballers, we are the international brotherhood found in gyms and playgrounds from Oakland to Würzburg to Shanghai, coast to coast, west to far east, north to the dirty south. Basketball is what we speak. So there you go, basketball. I have no idea what it is. It's, it's snap, clearly some sort of jacket or something. I don't know. But uh, I paid $2.50 for it, so we'll see on that. Oh, nose is getting itchy. Columbia. P, uh, yeah, Columbia. I hadn't seen one of these before. It's Columbia PFG, but it's um, a polo shirt. I always see the fishing shirts, you know, the vented fishing shirts, but this is an uh, extra large that um, polyester, I believe it's polyester. Um, yeah, polyester type material like the Under Armour polo shirts that do so well. So I figured being Columbia PFG should do okay. I haven't, I had never seen one before. Lacoste. I found a Lacoste. I'm not careful with Lacoste because they're so highly counterfeited, but uh, everything looked right on it. So uh, anyway, it's uh, just a button front shirt, really soft. The quality of it, you just feel it when you touch it. It's stitching is perfect, super soft material. So uh, short sleeve button front shirt. So I went ahead and got that for a couple bucks. Prana. Prana sells real well if you keep the price right. If you try it over over price, it's not going to move. But if you price it right, it sells usually within a week or two. That's a long sleeve button front shirt. Carhartt. Um, I don't pick up all the Carhartts I get. I mean, I see a lot of it here in Colorado. Um, but this is vintage. It's made in the USA. Made by a union. It's got that union stamp on the back of the tag. Um, heavy canvas. Really good condition. There's no issues with it. It's a pretty big size. The tag is somewhat faded. There we go. Extra large. That's an extra large, real good condition, and paid three fifty for it. So. 
Next up, oh, it's another one of the bagudas that I showed earlier. The herring, or that's not a herringbone pattern. I'm not sure what pattern that one is. I'll have to look that one up. But, uh, oh, sawtooth maybe. Um, so I'll grab that. We'll see how that brand ends up doing. It's that three pieces of it that I got. So Nike Golf, extra large, polo shirt. TPC Sawgrass is on the, uh, is the logo on the chest. Um, real good condition, real soft. Banana Republic, um, it's got the older, the vintage piece, it's got the older label on it. Just a, a button front, short sleeve shirt, but real perfect condition, there were no issues with it. Um, made in, it's kind of interesting on the tag, it says made in the British Crown Colony of Hong Kong. Don't normally see it so specific like that for Hong Kong and all, it's just made in Hong Kong. Specifically mentioned British Crown Colony of Hong Kong. So. This is a guess by Georges Marciano. Rayon shirt, just kind of a Hawaiian rayon style shirt. Love the uh, the, just the pattern on it though, the dark colors, the, the flowers. So uh, let me give that a try. A US Open Collection polo golf shirt from the uh, 2012 US Open, the Olympic Club. So it's the embroidery on the chest there. Uh, real good condition, no snags or anything on it. Grab that. Getting to the end. Australian Outback Collection. Always cracks me up with this brand because it's the Australian Outback Collection, but it's made in the USA. So nothing's made in the USA except for the Australian Outback Collection stuff. But it has that Aussie style to it. Um, I forget, I have to check the keyword for that, that style where it kind of folds down like that. Same in the back. Um, I forget what it is now. I've sold a piece like it before. I had to look up what the keyword is for that, but uh, uh, there is the tag, but again, denim shirt. I haven't grabbed that. And we are down to the last bag. And I just scared my cat. It's paper bags. Uh, let's see. Women's, uh, this is the other women's bag. Banana Republic. It's a small, but it's a real nice, soft, sweater. I'm just realizing that our, let's see here, oh it's inside out, that's what's going on here. Oh no it's not, I'm not sure. I'm just noticing that it's got little hoops here, so it looks like it needed or it had a uh, belt, so I'll have to disclose that I don't have the belt. Um, I don't really remember why I picked this up. Cashmere, it's not cashmere, I'm not real sure why I picked that up. Anyway, I was getting tired by this point. Actually, I was getting very hungry, hangry by this point. Patagonia Capilene. I love finding the Capilene. It's got some wear to it, um, but it's a women's Patagonia Capilene. And I hope that's focusing because when I put that up there, I can't see my computer to see uh, what you're seeing. So. Pendle, Pendleton, I don't pick up a lot of the women's Pendleton stuff, but this one, it's it's the, the white tag Pendleton. I need to check again to see the date, but it's a cool sweater, and I love the buttons that are on it. In fact, I think I could sell the buttons alone if the sweater isn't worth anything. Real nice cardigan sweater. And these buttons. So, went ahead and grabbed that. It was only $2.50. This, I don't even know how to show you. It's some bizarre piece of women's clothing with a, the normal part and then it wraps around and it does all kind of wacko stuff and I have no idea. I don't wear stuff like this. Um, and I could sit here probably for 10 minutes to try to figure out how it's supposed to lay and stuff. I'm trying to find, <laughs> trying to find the tag to even say what the brand was. 
uh, took us forever to find the price tag when I was checking out. Oh, that's right. It was Athleta. That's Athleta. One side of the tags come off, but I can restitch that. I don't know what it is, but it was Athleta, size 2XL, and it was just bizarre, so I went ahead and bought it. I got Levi's Perfectly Slimming 512 bootcut jeans, black, with bling on the butt. Price was right, so I got those. BKE, my BKE jeans can do well. Got these. It's got a little bit of distress, you know, that manufactured distress, the front and the back. Um, and they were only four dollars. Down to our last two items. I just sold something from this brand, Art Unlimited Sportswear. Um, it's about to knock over my light stand. Um, and it's got lighthouses on it. It's a sweater. It wasn't this exact one I sold before, but it was the same brand with lighthouses I just sold a couple of weeks ago. I mean, I don't think I sold it for a lot, but I made, you know, typical profit. I paid two fifty dollars for it. This is actually a full uh, cardigan. The other one was uh, just a pool over, you know, Henley style. Um, this is a cardigan, so... And well, the last piece is the sexy piece. Victoria's Secret, in fact, they even call it Victoria's Secret, very sexy. And uh, there we go. That's the last piece of the day. So that's uh, what I found today. It was a lot uh, from what I normally find just walking into a thrift store like that. Um, so highlights are the wall makers that I got at that uh, vintage clothing bazaar thing and the Robert Graham. So I'm real happy with everything I got. I should do really well. I spent about $190. I haven't added it up. I haven't even looked up the comps. But anyway, I hope you liked this video. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up. And uh, if you want to see more of my videos, hit the um, subscribe button. I'm actually going to be on another channel. Um, Cincinnati Picker is going to be interviewing me. I'm putting that on his channel. Uh, we're doing the interview on Monday. I'm not sure when he'll post it. Probably the same day. Uh, so I'll be over that Cincinnati Picker. You can check him out. And um, anyway, so that, that will be Monday. That'll be fun. Talk a little bit uh, about uh, myself. I'm not sure what he's going to ask me. Never been interviewed before, so that'll be a first. So you can check that out. Anyway, I will see you next time. Thanks for, thanks for viewing.